In this video, we're going to talk about strong and weak bases now. So, in general, we say bases are hydrogen acceptors or they make OH minus, depending on what definition you look at. But we're going to say strong bases are the more willing they are to accept hydrogen. And the way we look at this is we just put bases in water and measure the pH, right? For an ionic base, something like NaOH, ionic bond, all of the OH minus and Na's will dissociate with each other, and you'll get a strong electrolyte solution. And all an electrolyte solution means is that you have ions in there. So if you have a complete dissociation of sodium and hydroxide, you're going to have a lot of electrolytes, which means strong electrolytic solution. If your base has many OHs, like SROH2, um, that two should be on the bottom. What happens is that it will dissociate in one step. You have SR2 plus, and then you'll get two OH minuses. Uh, you won't have an SROH compound floating around. It's just a dissociate in one step. For weak bases, they are a lot like weak acids in that only um, a small fraction of these molecules will accept your H plus. Um, and since you don't make many ions, they're very weak electrolytic solutions. In fact, weak bases really don't take hydrogens off of water at all. You get less than 1% of ionization in water with your weak bases. Um, so your, your weak base concentration, though, um, will be greater than your OH concentration in water. So to figure out the uh, pH of a weak base solution, it's the same thing as finding the pH of a weak acid solution. You just set up an equilibrium problem and you set up an ice table. So go back to the video on how we went through the steps of finding out the pH of a weak acid and just substitute a base in for an acid and you'll get the same answers. It's the same, um, same problem solving steps. And that's, uh, and here it is. Uh, base plus H2O goes to OH minus plus BH and KB equals BH OHB. Yep. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.